It's Umsum time! What if we lived inside oceans? No big deal. Umsum is already living inside an ocean. Ooh. Oh, Umsum. <laughs> if we lived inside oceans, even all the land animals may join us inside the oceans. Huh? Hmm. We may start finding sharks sitting in our living rooms. Huh? <laughs> hmm. People who suffer huh? from aquaphobia, huh? as in fear of water, may jump off to a different planet. Hmm. We may keep on meeting strange deep sea creatures quite often. Huh? Hmm. Fishes may get terrified and may start taking flying lessons. Hmm. Submarines often operate secretly. That will not be the case anymore. Hmm. Instead of riding huh? horses, people may now start riding sharks. Hmm. Ocean water is extremely salty. Sellers of salt may not make any money. Hmm. Some people may show up for work in huh? swimsuits. Hmm. Selfie lovers will be extremely happy. Hmm. To buy Umsum merchandise, visit umsum.com. What if traffic signals disappeared? Simple. Everybody should fly like me. Oh, Umsum. <laughs> Firstly, if traffic signals disappeared, huh? traffic <laughs> signal police would have a tough job on their hands. Hmm. Secondly, if traffic signals disappeared, <laughs> it may lead to more number of accidents. Hmm. Thirdly, if traffic <laughs> signals disappeared, crossing an intersection while walking would get extremely difficult. Hmm. Fourthly, if traffic signals disappeared, Traffic signal technicians huh? would have to look for a new job. Hmm. Lastly, if traffic signals disappeared, people may have to get used to long traffic jams. Hmm. How does a snake move? Simple. It moves like the famous umsum. Oh, umsum. Snakes display up to four different types of movements. Firstly, serpentine locomotion. In this type of movement, the snake moves in the form of a sinusoidal wave. Secondly, concertina or accordion locomotion. In this type of movement, the body of the snake contracts and expands successively like an accordion or a spring. Thirdly, lateral displacement or side winding locomotion. In this type of movement, the snake moves laterally by forming vertical waves. In this way, it minimizes contact with the surface. This type of movement is typical of snake species found in desert areas. Fourthly, rectilinear locomotion. In this type of movement, the snake crawls in a straight line with its body stretched. This type of movement is commonly found among larger snakes as it allows them to access narrow burrows of their potential prey. Hmm. How does an airplane fly? Simple. And some makes everything fly. <laughs> Oh, I'm some. <laughs> Simply stated, there are four forces which are acting on an airplane. Lift. This force is generated because of the forward motion of the airplane through the air. Drag. This force is generated because of the resistance of the air to the forward motion of the airplane. Weight. This force is generated because of the pull of gravity towards the center of the earth. And finally, thrust. This force is generated by the engines of the airplane. Now, when the force of thrust produced by the engines is greater than the force of drag produced due to air resistance, the airplane moves forward. Also, when the force of lift produced due to forward motion is greater than the force of weight produced due to gravity, the airplane moves upward. In simple terms, this is how an airplane flies. Hmm. What if we could shoot webs like Spider-Man? Cool. Now I can easily get my pizza. Oh, I'm some. 
Firstly, if we could shoot webs, people may start shooting webs everywhere. Our neighborhoods will not look the same again. Hmm. Secondly, if we could shoot webs, huh? Spider-Man will not be able to impress people anymore. Huh? He may have to retire. Hmm. Thirdly, if we could shoot webs, catching thieves <laughs> would become extremely easy. Cops would be overjoyed. Hmm. Fourthly, if we could shoot webs, spiders will be overjoyed. They will have ready-made homes available for them. Hmm. Fifthly, if we could shoot webs, out of laziness, some people may start using this power to get day-to-day -day objects. These people may gain weight. Hmm. Lastly, if we could shoot webs, people might start using this power while playing basketball. Fans may get very disappointed. What if our teeth were made of gold? Cool. Now Umsum and his smile will become world famous. <laughs> oh, Umsum. Huh? Firstly, if our teeth were made of gold, even if their <clears throat> teeth pain a lot, some people may never take them out. Hmm. Secondly, if our teeth were made of gold, <laughs> showing off our golden teeth huh? in selfies will become a norm. Hmm. Thirdly, if our teeth were made of gold, some people huh? might sell off some of their teeth and buy a brand new car. Hmm. Fourthly, if our teeth were made of gold, people with no teeth <sighs> might get extremely <laughs> sad. Hmm. Fifthly, if our teeth were made of gold, some people may try to sell fake teeth growing potions. Many people may end up paying huge amounts of money for them. Hmm. Lastly, if our teeth were made of gold, dentists might become extremely rich. Hmm. What if we lived near a volcano? Cool. Um some is not afraid of a volcano. <laughs> oh, um some. Firstly, if we lived near a volcano, temperatures near volcanoes are super high. People may start sweating buckets. Hmm. Mm. Secondly, <laughs> if we lived near a volcano, wooden houses may burn down very huh? easily. Huh? Hmm. Thirdly, huh? volcanic eruptions can cause earthquakes. If we lived near a volcano, even if we survive a volcano, an earthquake will surely bring our house down. Hmm. Fourthly, if we live near a volcano, instead of waterfalls, people may start installing magma falls in their homes. Huh? Hmm. Fifthly, if we live near a volcano, whenever a volcano erupts, families might pack their bags for a holiday. Kids might love this. Hmm. Lastly, if we live near a volcano, temperatures are very high near a volcano. Ice ah. creams will immediately melt Ooh. away. Huh? Hmm. What if we lived on Neptune? Cool, but wait, will I get burgers on Neptune? Huh? Oh, I'm some. Firstly, if we lived on Neptune, <laughs> Neptune is considered to be the windiest planet. Wooden homes may get blown away easily. Secondly, if we lived on Neptune, one year on Neptune is 165 Earth years long. We may never be able to celebrate our birthday. Thirdly, if we lived on Neptune, Neptune is the farthest planet from the sun. Nice sunny mornings will be a thing of the past. Fourthly, if we lived on Neptune, Neptune has 14 moons. Artificial lights at night will not be needed anymore. Fifthly, if we lived on Neptune, Neptune is four times huh? wider than Earth. Our homes will suddenly become super spacious. Mm. Lastly, if we lived on Neptune, huh? Neptune is an ice giant. Refrigerators will not be needed anymore. Mm. What if sun became black in color? I know, I know, I painted it black. Huh? Oh, I'm um, so. Firstly, if sun became black huh? in color, there will be complete darkness everywhere. Huh? Our electricity bills may skyrocket. Hmm. Secondly, moon reflects the light of the sun. If sun became black huh? in color, even the moon may huh? start appearing black. Hmm. Thirdly, if sun became black in color, 
planets may stop revolving around the sun. They may move huh? to a different solar system. Hmm. Fourthly, if sun became black in color, everyone will get extremely confused. Even aliens huh? might show up to investigate. Hmm. Fifthly, if sun became black in color, some planets <laughs> may not notice the sun. They may start colliding with it. Hmm. Hmm. Lastly, Halley's Comet orbits the sun roughly every 75 years. If sun became black in color, huh? it might get hugely disappointed. Hmm.